The first prototype we're working on is a game called Triage Trainer, where we've developed a simple physiological model that drives the appearance of an avatar. It's the scene of an explosion and you, the player, as a first responder on the scene, whether you're a fireman, whether you're an ambulance crew, whether you're a doctor, have to quickly assess the condition of these casualties and you have to make a rapid decision about the urgency of treatment. And what the game does is test speed and accuracy of decision making. Now this underlying physiological model plays throughout the game and a, a casualty's condition will decay in real time. The underlying physiological model in the avatar is based on data given to us by Manchester Royal Infirmary. So they've worked with us not only to supply the, the data in like how quickly does the breathing rate speed up given massive blood loss, but also what is the physical appearance. When we actually first started doing this, um, the physical appearance, the colour of the face of the avatar as the blood loss flowed was a bit blue, a bit grey. And our medical experts came to us and said, no, that looks like congestive heart failure. You need it to be more white. Now, an experienced cl clinician is able to make those very, very fine judgments. And it's those kind of fine details that actually make the avatar realistic. So what you actually see in this demonstration is the casualty has a massive injury uh, has a massive loss of blood which is continuing to flow. It's probably some kind of amputation. And you'll see the heart rate climb, the breathing rate climb, capillary refill climbs rapidly because it takes longer for the blood to come round to refill those capillaries. And what you actually see is that the casualty becomes noticeably paler, begins to sweat with the effort of pumping that blood round, you begin to see the effort of breathing with the cords in the neck begin to really strain and also his eyes begin to lose focus because he's concentrating on staying alive and eventually he becomes very 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 white and his, he, his eyes roll back and he dies and every time i see this i find it incredibly moving and i think that's a huge testament to the skills not only of our team but also of the accuracy of the data and the input that we're getting from these medical experts, which is so important to make this as real as possible.